back at it again. We've got some frost on the tracks. Water's frozen. Probably gonna have to go over way down there where the sun's shining because I think over here is kind of frosted still and I've only got about an hour till I gotta get out of here. So I'm gonna look around, I'll uh, check back if I find anything cool. Okay, we're not uh, completely frozen. This little stream thing is trickling and I came up across. Okay, there. Let me get my hand with the glove. <laughs> Everything's kind of frozen to a uh, Been a pretty big cephalopod. Cool. You know, I'll take that. I love uh, anything cephalopod. All right. Pretty big horn coral. Got a big burrow on the end of it. What else did I see? <laughs> Another little piece of cephalopod. All right, folks, I think I found something cool. But first, let's look at a couple of nice little brachiopods. Let's see if we can get some zoom. There's one, here's another, different species. Nice little uh, bracts. Uh, and what, here's a little weathered out horn core, but I'm really, I'm, <laughs> what I'm really excited about is this guy. I've not touched him. Oh. Dang. Appears to be a big piece of trilobite. It have been like an isotelus rolled up. I was hoping it'd be like uh, more under there, but hey, this is still really cool to me. I'm excited about this. Awesome. I know there's some big ones here. I find lots of hypostomes and little genial spines and different things that are uh, from real big specimens. So they're here. It's just a matter of coming across them. So <clears throat> sweet. Just wanted to show you kind of some of the stuff here. Uh, lots of little bryzone fragments, all busted up into little tiny pieces. So when all these little I can get it. All these little pieces are. I saw a couple. Here they are. Crinoid columns. <clears throat> oh my god, cool. There's a little. Where did it go? Oh, in there, a little piece of trilobite fragment. Right there. And where did it go? There's another. Imagine that. Another little. Piece of cephalopod. This is probably one of my favorite ways to find it. I love the internal structure there. Alrighty. Here's kind of a bigger. I don't have very many brachiopods like this. Might be crushed, I can't tell exactly. It looks like it is. All right, I'm kind of up on the side of this. That's a flat spot and that goes way down and there's this little hill here. And I see something. Oh, I 
saw something. Where did it go? Oh my gosh. Oh, there's a little horn coral. There's a cephalopod up here somewhere. There's a brachiopod. As it and I roll down the hill. Alright, I found something else cool. Let's see. Whole. Got a lot of mud on it. We'll clean it up and find out. It looks pretty good from here. A little rolled up trilobite. Awesome. Here's a little uh, cephalopod in the matrix. I kind of like them like this too. Especially if they're small and you can pick it up and it's not a big giant cephalopod. I just had another little piece. Oh, here it is. I dropped it. A little piece. Um, there's all kinds of just little Bryzoan and fossil fragments and you just gotta look through this rubble. That's where you can find a super clean brachiopod laying out or a nice clean rolled up trilobite. Just be careful because I almost slid down the hill a second ago. Alrighty, unfortunately my time is up. I didn't get nearly as far as I wanted to. I only got like 20, 30 feet. I was hoping to get down on the other side there in the sun, at least where it was a little warm, but got a little, uh, where'd it go? There it is. Can you see it? Gastropod. Oh my God, I'm gonna fall again. It's almost complete. That would have been the end of it there, but it's busted out right there. But still, very tips a little busted, but very cool. All right, I might look for another half a minute here, but I do gotta go. About a 30 minute drive, and then I gotta go to work and uh, don't want to be late for that. All right, we'll see you folks. Um, later on, after I get all these cleaned up, I'll shoot a little wrap up video that shows them all cleaned up. Got uh, that piece of isotelus. Also got uh, that nice little rolled up flexi. So, excited about that. Um, oh, here's a big, uh, it's a big brachiopod. Pretty clean. A lot of good stuff around here and there's this here in Ohio you know there's just so many places just littered with fossils we're kind of spoiled a lot of hunters around here probably uh, ooh, internal mold of a 
Master Pond. Pretty cool. Pretty spoiled. A lot of people maybe take it for granted or don't realize. Cephalopod piece. Just how much this is. I mean, there's a little piece of uh, cephalopod there. It's pretty rough. It's uh, soft. So you can see they're just kind of everywhere. Um, but I do have to run, so talk to you guys later. Just wanted to do the uh, wrap up video. Um, here's everything I found. Here's the uh, Siphuncle indentation. It's a piece of cephalopod. You can kind of see where it indentation travels down. Another piece of cephalopod. There's the siphuncal indentation right there. Again right there. And the siphuncal, that's the uh, tube that goes down the center of the creature and uh, connects all those chambers together. So I find lots of, uh, there it is there, another piece of cephalopod. There's a little one in the matrix. Found a bunch of uh, horn coral. I kind of like them all worn out and burrowed up. You know, this one would have been probably getting worn out you know prior to fossilization it was probably sitting on the bottom of the ocean for quite a while uh, some little pieces of crinoid or crinoid columns uh, brachiopods I don't find very many of these that have this um, these kind of bumps or those formation there Squina. This one's pretty cool. Got this real deep. so thin uh, and here are the trilobites I found I found uh, this is a piece of isotelus it's um, thorax here in the middle and the left lobe it's missing the head and tail kind of fragile but it's I mean it's holding on there I might seal it with something there is a little rolled up flexi I found it's pretty nice here's one I haven't uh, had on camera it wasn't from this trip but it's about the same size. It has a uh, kind of some neat coloration. If I can get it in focus here. Some damage there. Okay. Uh, some little gastropod internal molds. Um, rhizome pieces. I don't it's had some kind of neat texture on it. Oh, 
That's Poppy. She's uh, getting restless in there. 